In this video, I'm going to be building the best possible team right now in NBA 2K23. My team, we've gotten some really good cards over the past couple weeks, and I do think the best team in the game has changed a lot since the last time I did one of these videos. So I just want to give you guys an updated best possible teams video. So at the starting point guard position, we are going to be going for the new Galaxy example, James Harden, who I do believe is the best point guard in my team. I mean, he's an absolute demigod at the point guard position. He's still one of the best offensive cards in my team, even with having guys like Tim Thomas, Yao Ming in the game. I mean, he's just so unguardable at the point guard spot he's six foot five with a six foot ten wingspan i mean he does have a 96 three ball 93 mid range 96 speed or 95 speed 95 acceleration he does also have some amazing hall of fame shooting badges and some amazing hall of fame playmaking badges as well he's got a 97 ball handle 95 speed with ball so he's super good with the bonus hands he can get to the rim with ease and he can actually finish at a very high level having some really good dunking animations he has a quick drops off one which i do believe is the best dunk package in my team right now triple six wise he's got the mj triple style and he's He's got the you know the hardened size up at the hardened escape which is really good so i mean this card is probably the best point guard in my team in my opinion he's got a great jump shot it's on quick timing now it's already super fast on his pink diamond so now that it's on quick timing just gonna make it a lot easier it's just gonna make it a lot faster and a lot easier to get off and you know when somebody's trying to contest you so for me guys i think james harden is gonna be the best point guard in the game yes he's not the best defender but all around i still do think he's the number one point guard and gonna be our starting point guard on this team now for our starting shooting guard i don't think this guy is necessarily the best shooting guard in my team but for this specific lineup i do want to go with terry dishinger at the starting two i do think a guy like vince carter is better than terry dishinger at the shooting guard position right now in my team but like I said, I'll talk about that in a second, or I'll talk about that later in the video once we do get to, you know, Vince Carter. But I do think, like I said, for this specific lineup and how I want to run it, it's better to have Terry Dishinger starting and then Vince Carter on the bench. But Terry's still going to be an amazing shooting guard. Like, don't get that wrong. I think Vince Carter's better, but don't think Terry Dishinger is like a terrible shooting guard. He's six foot seven with a six foot eleven wingspan. He's going to provide us with some great defense and next to a guy like Harden, who isn't the greatest of defenders. And he does have a really good player model as well. And like this guard can still create his own shot. Like he's got a great jump shot he's got the rudy gay base carmelo anthony upper on quick timing that's a great release super fast as well and then he's got the chris paul dribble style one of the best dribble styles in my team he's got the darren fox size up or uh, yeah darren fox size up which also vince carter has and then he does have the john wall escape which also vince carter has as well so they're very similar in the sense of dribble six wise and jump shot wise they do feel kind of similar as well and then terry dishinger does have the normal leaners so for me i don't think terry's going to be the best shooting guard in the game but for this specific lineup he's going to be our starting shooting guard and then and guys i do think terry's number two though over dr j and kazzy russell now at the starting small four position we are going to be going with obviously tim thomas even though we've gotten some really good cards in my team recently i still think tim thomas is the best small forward in the game and probably the best uh, probably the second best or the third best card in my team we'll talk about the best card here in a second but tim thomas still super elite at the small four position he's six foot ten with a seven foot two wingspan now don't don't be surprised if in the next like three to four weeks we see you know tim thomas kind of drop out of the top five cards in my team Team. we've been getting some super overpowered cards like Harden and some other cards we'll talk about here in a second that are just they're getting souped up like they're giving all these guys really good dribble sticks they're letting them hold every badge in the game like Harden can, can get every badge in my team right now so yes Tim Thomas is still super elite because of his jump shot and his dribble sticks like he has that Steve Francis size up which only Zion has in my team right now and that's a big reason why Tim Thomas is super good and able to create his own shot is because of the Steve Francis size up which I believe is the best size up in my team obviously does have a super good jump shot on quick timing so triple six wise and jump shot wise this card will still be amazing for a while but stats and badges wise i'm not going to say he's outdated at all because he's got some great badges and his stats are very well rounded but don't be surprised if in the next you know three to four weeks we start seeing cards that are de definitely better than tim thomas especially at the small four position but for now he is definitely going to be the best small forward in the game and our starting small forward on this team now for the power four position it really comes down to two different names i think everybody could agree on that i think for me i think i'm going to go with dirk Nowitzki, even though i will say Yi is a very close second but Dirk is just so elite man at the power four position him and Yi though are very similar in the sense that they're both around seven foot Dirk is seven foot one with a seven foot three wingspan I do think Dirk does have you know a better jump shot and probably is better you know shooting the three ball because he does have some more hall of fame shooting badges he's got tons on hall of fame including limitless range guard up dead eye corner specialist claymore I mean he's got agent three as well amped blinders catch and shoot like I mean, this card is ridiculous from the three-point line. He knocked down, he knocked, he knocks down every single shot. 
with a great jump shot i mean this b leads to base is actually super super elite it's going to be on quick timing as well so super fast jump shot which dirk usually has terrible jump shots in my team so it's a great thing that they souped him up and gave him a really good release and then he's also got the mj dribble style and the kobe Bryant escape so they even gave him some really good sigs especially for a dirk Nowitzki card he plays solid defense and does have 85 speed and 85 acceleration so for me i think dirk is going to be the best power forward in my team now for the starting center position i think this is probably the most obvious selection uh for a center position you can make and i think this is the most obvious card that he, he would be in the starting lineup and that's going to be the galaxy of yao ming i mean there's not much to be said with this card i mean he just is the best card in my team and i don't think it's particularly close obviously i think tim thomas is still really good and there's you know vince carter and some other great cards in my team right now but i mean it's yao ming man i don't think i really need to even show stats i can just quickly show you guys you know why yao ming is so good he's seven foot six at the center position with a seven foot nine wingspan they gave him 80 speed and 80 acceleration which is ridiculous to have on a yao ming card he's got a 78 three ball and his jump shot on quick timing I mean, that in itself is just unbelievable because of how good of a defender he is. And he's basically unstoppable in the offensive end. There's no center in the game right now that has any chance of even stopping Yao Ming, except for maybe Taco Fall. And I've seen Cream sometimes get some paid stops, but he's the most unstoppable in the card in the game. He goes for 2 million MT, and there's definitely a reason why. So Yao Ming going to be our starting center. And then, yeah, guys, this is going to be my best possible starting lineup in my team right now. I mean, Terry Dishinger we'll talk about here in a second because at the back of point guard position, I'm seeing the lid on Magic Johnson. Now, I will say I am I am going magic johnson only because only because vince carter is going to be our backup shooting guard that is the only reason because if, if you wanted to go with you know a different shooting guard you can maybe go with a different point guard but for me i think this is the second best backcourt in the game having magic and vince carter together because obviously magic six foot nine at the point guard position he gives you really good size and defense right super nice to have in the game right now and then vince carter is so elite at the shooting guard spot that he can really carry the uh, he can really carry the offense now if i were to switch it like this it would still be fine on the starting lineup because vince is a good enough defender right we'd already have some amazing cards though so that's why i want to have vince off the bench to kind of run the bench's offense because we already have guys like tim thomas yeah we don't really need a vince carter even a harden we don't need vince carter in the starting lineup as well we don't need another ball handler another you know guy that can handle the ball we need him off the bench next to a guy like magic johnson now if you wanted to switch it I mean, you could possibly do this and then have, you know, kind of Harden and Terry Dishinger, uh, Terry Dishinger to run the offense off the bench. You could definitely do that as well. But for me, I like Harden over Magic Johnson. So this would be my backcourt off the bench. Magic Johnson at the one and then Vince Carter at the backup two. I mean, looking at Vince here, he's a six foot six shooting guard. He's uh, also got a six foot nine wingspan. His stats are pretty much perfect. I mean, there's nothing else you can really ask for on the card. Great defender. Amazing at going to the rim. He's got a high three ball. He can handle the ball. I mean, he's super fast. Nothing really to say stats wise with this card. And then jump shot wise he's got a great jump shot this Kyle Kuzma base still one of the best bases in my team it's going to be on quick timing so a super fast jump shot and then they souped up his dribble six just like Terry Dishinger he's got well he's got just like Terry Dishinger he's got that Darren Fox size up in the John Wall escape and then he's also got the MJ dribble style as well so I mean the card's movement's going to be really good he can knock down threes and all around I do think he's going to be the second best or not second best shooting guard I do think he's going to be the best shooting guard but for this specific team going to be coming off the bench now for the backup small four position there is so many different names we can go with I I think there's honestly six to eight different names you could really name for the backup small forts we'll come back to that here in a second we're gonna go with a more obvious choice and for me that is gonna be the galaxy so yeah i always type in his name wrong on 2kdb because you got to type it like this for him to actually pop up but yeah i do think he and dirk are the two best power forwards obviously there's guys like you know Dolph shays bob netalecki who i think are you know solid i think they can still be debatably the second or third best uh, power forward but for me he is basically just a little bit worse dirk he's seven foot with a seven foot four wingspan and you basically get the same card. I mean, like I said, Dirk does have more Hall of Fame shooting badges. They're about the same on the defense of anything. Dirk might have a little bit better of a player model in game, but honestly, I think they're very close and they're too similar to kind of, you know, say one's a lot better than the other. So I think they're bo both going to be on the team and both going to be our power forwards. And then the center position to round off, you know, not, not the bench, but just to round off the center position is going to be Pink Diamond D-Rob. I think D-Rob isn't on the same level as a guy like Yao Ming, but he's your next best option. He's going to be good uh, next to a guy like Yi because he's going to be able to grab a lot of rebounds and play some really good defense as well. And then guys for the backup small four position, like i said there's tons of different names you can name i think zion he could definitely be at the back of a small forward position to give you really good offense next to a guy like vince carter if you wanted to go with that ping diamond lebron i think he's actually super good in my team still so he could be your backup small forward uh that new tatum that got an evo he could definitely play as well there's ak-47 right the new ping diamond that came out in the cosmic set he could definitely play i mean there's joe smith there's Kawhi leonard there's so many different names i'm probably not even naming like cincy pal that could all play at this back of small forward position for me though i'm gonna 
going to go with Pink Diamond LeBron. I do think he's the second best small forward in the game right now, and I do believe he's going to give us some really good defense behind a guy like Tim Thomas. So in my, in my opinion, guys, this is the best possible team you guys can build right now, but let me know in the comment section down below what is your guys' best possible team in the game, and let me know what you guys are changing about my squad, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.